We talk about the economy now as the Central Bank of Nigeria has set a maximum limit for withdrawals over the counter by individuals. This now stands at 100,000 Naira maximum for individuals and 500,000 Naira maximum for corporations with effect from January the 9th, 2023. Now, this announcement was made on Tuesday in a letter signed by the Director of Banking Supervision at the Apex Bank. Haruna Mustafa, the letter which was addressed to all banks and other financial institutions also reveals that cash withdrawals above the stated limits will attract a processing fee of 5% for individuals and 10% for corporates. Recall that as part of efforts to ensure full compliance with the Naira redesign deadline, the Apex Bank had directed banks to accept cash deposits beyond the cashless policy threshold. That's what we'll be talking about now. We bring in an economist. Samson Shoyebi is the MD Chief Executive Officer of Honey Treat Academy, and he joins us now from Southampton in the UK. Many thanks for joining us at this time, Mr. Shoyebi. What are your thoughts about this latest cashless policy drive of the federal government? Do you think it will work? Okay. Uh Basically, uh, first and foremost, I believe this policy is a very laudable one. Um, Nigerians should be excited that uh, for one for for, for once, uh, the government is looking at putting up policies that actually impact the society positively. Uh, people should be excited that this policy is coming on because. Uh, First and foremost, it's going to curb criminality. It's also going to save the cost of funding for printing of uh, currencies, which societies of the world are trying to do away with. People are going into cashless economies. Uh, I think it's a very good one. Again, you also look at the fact that majority of the people who transact in their banks collect less than 150000 on a daily basis. The, large, the lesser, just about 10 percent of that population of our population are the ones who use this huge fund. So you are seeing about 90 percent of the population who transact in the banks having to pay for the cost of producing funds, uh, cash, uh, the currencies that we use in the country. So a good policy will look at what will benefit majority of the people. And I think I give it to our president, President Mohamed Buhari, for taking this bull. Step this bold step to uh, go through with this policy is actually a very good one. Yes, we've seen uh, already POS operators um, kicking against this latest uh, announcement, saying they will embark on a protest. And another group of um, stakeholders who say here in Nigeria, cash is still king, and so uh, it may be good on paper, but um, if you look at the informal sector, which is which largely drives uh, Nigeria's GDP. Cash still thrives. What do you make of this argument? Okay, so uh, there is a saying that if you want to track criminality, follow the money. Eventually, this cash system based uh, BDC operation that we do is not going to last. You can't even find it in the economy in another 10 years. So at some point in our society, it, was, it must stop. And people should appreciate the fact that at the point we used to have, uh, we don't have some technology to do some activities. We do now. And so I mean, before we don't have cashless policy, we don't have ATMs. People go into banks who can't recash. But that doesn't happen anymore. People have to live up with that. So the policy will come with some gains. It will also come with some pains. Mm. The bigger picture is what we should be looking at. And I've had reports of people who were duped by people who operate POS machines. If you really, really want to track this, if you want to make sure that you track criminality, you must go the cashless way. And that's what the government has done. All right, let me quickly ask... Some people are not going to be happy with it. It's mm. fine. All policies, we always affect some people negatively. 
But what we should focus on is how will the government manage these people's interest so that those people who work in this sector right. will not be left with no job? What, can, what else can they be doing? All right. You know, I so also that's want to what ask, the focus should be. But at some point, right. I also this, want to. I also want to ask goal. yes you what we do now about the inherent challenges in the system. Some have said um, fraudulent transactions might spike at this time. Um, even failed transactions also might spike, as well as the um, you know, technological challenges that we, st we still have in making transactions uh, at the moment. How, how do we curtail these concerns? I'm not sure I, I follow that question. I, I, curb, I'm, I'm struggling to hear you. How do we curb the challenges of failed transactions, fraudulent transactions, um, and of course the technological challenges that some have said could be uh, uh, could be working against you know the advancement of these cashless policies of the government? Yes, at any point in time, there will always be fraudulent activities, either digital or physical. But then when you look at the challenges that physical trans transactions actually pose to the society, it's far more than digital. Provided the government is able to put in checks and restrictions in place to ensure that fraudulent uh, personalities do not take advantage of the digital, trans uh, digital economy. But at some point in our society, we will definitely go digital. I would post, I would, I would cite examples. For example, uh, Belgium, they are doing about 93% of their transactions digitally. Even, the, even Canada, they are doing 90% of transactions digital. The UK at the moment, they are doing 89%. So if we are looking at advancing our economy into the 21st century economy, we will go digital at that point. We create more ec digital economy jobs and let go of all the, the regular uh, jobs that people are talking about now and advance to this, uh, the digital economy that we were talking about. Because this is actually part of the, digital, the, the digitalization of the Nigerian economy. This is one of the process of uh, uh, achieving that. If you also check, prior to now, they've just done the change of the currency which is also supposed to be a precursor to what we are having now. Right. And again, we are entering the, the election early next year. This should be a very good one. All right. The Samson, show you Hopefully people won't have to do cash uh, payments during elections. All right. Thanks a lot, Samson. Show you be an economist for your contributions on TVC News. That's our. Thank you for having me.